What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm gonna teach you how I prefer to super clean and protect a set of wheels. So uh, stick with me and let's uh, enjoy this show. As we can see these wheels are proper dirty, um, they haven't been washed for a long time so they have a lot of caked in dirt on them. First thing I do is to just rinse off any loose dirt. Then it's time to apply some sort of iron dissolver or a dedicated wheel cleaner. I'm using uh, Gion's Iron which works terrifically for wheels. And then for the tire walls I'm using Tough Shine's tire cleaner which just works perfectly. Then I'm filling up a foam bottle with just a little bit of car shampoo and some water. I'm using uh, Gion's Bade for the car shampoo. And I don't use a lot here just to get some foaming action going on and to increase the lubrication. This step right here is definitely what's going to make the job uh, mostly done right here. So if you want to stop after this, of course that's perfectly fine. But uh, as we're gonna see, I'm gonna take things a little bit further. But this right here is what most of us would call a maintenance wash or just a normal wash of the wheels. Then proceed with applying a cold degreaser which works as a tar remover in a sense. And in order to use that I'm letting the wheels dry at least a little bit before applying that because it works best on a dry surface. And as we can see it's already going to work there. But for the most effective way to remove the tar spots I'm also soaking down a microfiber towel and just going over the entire surface. That's a super effective way of uh, getting rid of uh, the tar spots. Then I just repeat all the steps on uh, the face of the rim.
I'm planning on polishing these rims, so as always it's a very good idea to clay the surfaces before you go ahead and uh, polish them. This ensures a perfectly clean surface, which is key before you go ahead and do some paint correction. The rusty looking mating surface bothered me, so I went ahead with some uh, wet sanding paper and uh, just sanded that down a little bit, which uh, made it look a little bit better at least. Once the wheel is fully dried, it's finally time to give it some uh, polishing action. And I'm using Gion's polishing agent right here, which works uh, very good in my opinion. This is a air-driven mini uh, dual orbit polishing tool right here, it's a 2 inch. Which uh, works pretty well for tight areas like this. And I'm not using any heavier compound for this wheel because the goal right here is just to uh, brighten them up as far as possible, making them glossier and they honestly didn't have much defects at all to begin with, mostly because they pretty much never been cleaned or very rarely been cleaned I should say, so uh, there, there weren't much uh, defects to begin with so uh, just a once over with uh, some uh, fine polishing was enough to get them to the standards I was looking for. Before I go ahead and apply a coating on these wheels, it's uh, very important to uh, give a wipe down with some uh, isopropanol alcohol or a dedicated um, prep wipe. So I'm using Gion's dedicated prep right there. Also wiping down the tire walls to get rid of any uh, polishing splatter and to further prepare them for uh, a tire coating. This is also a great time to fill in any uh, paint chips or rock chips. Just make sure you let the paint fully dry before uh, you apply a coating. I'm using Gion's rim which is a really durable uh, wheel coating. It's uh, a ceramic coating. And it's uh, completely superior to any sort of wax or uh, spray sealant of any kind. I can't stress enough how important it is to uh, thoroughly wipe down and level down the coating. Work in good lighting so you don't end up with a bunch of high spots, which can be very tough to remove once they've dried fully. If your OCD really haunts you, you could, could go ahead and pick up all the small little rocks in the threads. I'm just going ahead and uh, removing the worst of it right here. And to dress and protect the tire walls I'm using Gion's tire, which gives it a very good finish as we're gonna see later on. And my preferred method of applying uh, tire shine is to apply it, let it sit for a couple of minutes, let the rubber soak it all in, and then go ahead and wipe off any excess with a microfiber towel to give it that perfect, better than new looking finish. And uh, that's the last of the steps. The wheel is done. So there you have it, this is my method of deep cleaning and protecting wheels. Um, I think it gives an almost perfect looking result. 
feel free to use this as a guide yourself if you want to do this same job. So that's how you deep clean and protect your wheels in a proper way. But as we can see, we have three more that, uh, that hasn't been done yet. So uh, I'm gonna have to take care of those, but I'm not gonna bore you with the process of repeating it three more times. So with the magic of editing, here we go. And there we go. All of the wheels are completely done. They look great, at least in my opinion. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see uh, similar content in the future or any of the other content I have on my channel, such as freshening up old vehicles and uh, stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you want to, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. Till next time, take care guys, see you then, bye.